Welcome to GetChemistryHelp.com. My name is Dr. Kent, and I'm going to work out a few practice problems on significant digits and calculations. Now, if you'd like to play along at home, there is a PDF worksheet available of these exact problems that you can print out on GetChemistryHelp.com and follow along. Okay, so let's figure out how many significant digits should there be in the answer of each of these calculations. So the first one says 8.010 times 41.907. So I punch that in my calculator and I get 335.67507. Okay, so we learned in our lesson on significant digits and calculations that when you multiply, you're limited to the fewest sig figs present in either of the measurements that goes in. So this number here, has four significant figures. This one, 41.907, that has five significant figures. So my answer can only be as precise as my least precise number that went in. So in that case, it's four. So I'm limited to four. So one, two, three, four would be these first four. So if I round that off, the seven tells me to add one to that six, and that would become 335.7. Okay, how about the next one? 993.4 divided by 6.022. Okay, again, if we're doing divi division, it's fewest significant figures. So my calculator tells me 164.96. Eight. So again, this has four sig figs. 6.022 has four sig figs. So my answer here can't have seven. It can only have the fewest, which is four sig figs. So 164.9, I run that off to four. The six tells me to round up. Okay, so this is interesting. The six makes that, oh, nine will go to 10. So it would also round up that one too. So I would get 165.0. So make sure you include the zero because it has to have four significant figures. So 165.0 would have four. Okay, let's try a few others here. Now this one, 76.0, now we're doing subtraction, minus 38.119. Okay, so I mentioned in the lesson on this that it's really nice to line them up by their places. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take 76.0 and subtract 38.119. So yeah, notice how I lined up the tens place, ones place, tens place, etc. Okay, so that gives me on my calculator 37.88. Okay, now when we're doing subtraction or addition, now it's not significant figures. It's actually the least precise in terms of places. So this number is precise out to the tenths place. 38.119 is precise out to the thousandths place. So the least precise one is this one that's only precise out to the tenths place. So I'm going to round it off at the tenths place. So 37.881 would round off, and that would become 37.9. Okay, how about 1800 plus 291? Well, again, whenever you're adding or subtracting, I find it easier to go ahead and line them up by their places. So I'm going to take 1800, and I'm going to line up the 2 with the 100's place, the 9 with the 10's place, the 1 with the 1's place. Add those together. And that gives me 2,091. Okay, so again, we're adding those, so it's not just sig figs, like two and three, it's the places. So in this number, the one is significant, the eight is significant, trailing zeros are never significant. So this one is only significant out to the hundreds place. This one, the two, the nine, and the one are all significant. So this one is significant all the way out to the ones place. So the least precise is the one that only goes out to hundreds. So I could 
consider that like that. So I would round that off. The nine tells me to add one there. So that makes that 21 when I round. But again, I can't turn 2000 just into 21. As we learned in our lesson on this, we have to fill in the tens and the ones with something. So those places will get zeros. Those are called placeholder zeros. So 2091 will round off to 2100, which is still only precise out to the hundreds place, just like this one was here. Okay, a couple more. Okay, now we've got multiple operations. So as we saw in the lesson, we have to follow the order of operations or what's called PEMDAS. So PEMDAS means we work from left to right and we have to do parentheses first, then exponents, then multiplying and dividing, and then last is addition and subtraction. So in this case, working left to right, okay, I have to do parentheses first. I'm gonna complete this part first. So this part, I'm gonna add those together. Okay, let's put those over here. 12.3 first plus 0 0.06. Line those up and I get 12.36. Okay, well, I'm adding, so again, it's the fewest places or significant places. This one's significant out to the tenths. This one's significant out to the hundredths. Okay, what's that mean? That means I can only be significant out to the tenths. However, as we learned in our lesson on rounding, since we, since we still have another operation to go, we don't want to round off yet. You want to keep at least one more significant figure until we get to the end. So I'm just going to mark where it should actually be. So it should actually be 12.3, and then the six is just our extra one we're keeping. So now I'm going to take 12.36, and finish the calculation. So that times 53.44. And that gives me 660.5184. Great. Okay, so now we're multiplying, so now we're using significant figures. But remember, I marked this one. So this one really only has three sig figs. This one has four sig figs. So my answer can only have the fewest because I'm multiplying, so three. So I can only keep three. So that would round off and become 660.5. Five tells me round up, so that would become 661. Okay, last one. 68.7 minus 14.021 divided by 18.9. Okay, well again, according to PEMDAS, the order of operations, we have to divide first and then we'll multiply next. So 14.021 divided by 18.9. So that gives me 0 0.74185. Okay, we're dividing. So when you're dividing, you consider the fewest significant figures. So this has five sig figs. 18.9 has three sig figs. So five and three, the fewest is three, so the answer can only have three. So that would round off to 0 0.742. Okay, now I have to subtract. But remember, we really don't want to round off quite yet because we have another another operation to go. So I'm going to actually go ahead and put that back and just make that 0.85. I'm going to mark the 1 as a reminder there. So 68.7 subtract 0 I'm marking it to remind myself that this only had three sig figs. So I do that subtraction and I get 67.95815. Okay, now I'm subtracting. So now it's no longer just sig figs, but it's the places. So this one is significant out to the tenths place. This one is significant. Remember I marked it out to the thousands place. So my answer can only be out to the tenths place. 
So I would round, once again, this five rounds that. Oh, that nine is going to round up, make that round that. So out to the tens place, that would round off to be 68.0. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this lesson on significant digits and calculations. Be sure and click on the subscribe button so you can be notified as soon as new videos are posted. And we'll see you next time here on GetChemistryHelp.com.